Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Educators Homestead. My name is Mary, and I'd like to teach you how to make a thank you page for your products with active links using Google Slides. Here's my thank you page. I add this to the end of all of my products, and it has active links to take my customers back to different parts of my store. I'd like to show you how to do that. Go into Google, your Google Drive, open new, and open up a new Google Slides project. Once you're in there, make sure you name it. So I'm going to name mine Thank You Page. And then go down to Page Setup. And I usually make two of these, one for landscape, one for portrait. Today's is going to be landscape. I'm going to set it for 11 by 8 and a half. Click Apply. Get rid of the guidelines. We don't need those. And the first thing I'd like to do on my thank you page is make a center piece. On mine, I have my picture in it. Go to Insert, Shapes, find whichever shape you like. I pick an oval for my centerpiece. There we go. I'm going to get rid of the color, make sure everything is white to start with. And the next thing I'd like to add is a banner across the top of my page. So again, go to Insert, Shapes, find a Shapes banner that you would like to stretch out across the top. I like these ones here. I'm going to stretch that along the top. And now I need to write some text. I always put a text box inside of my Shapes so that my I can manipulate my text and it won't affect the shapes. All right, let's see. Thank you for buying my product. That looks good. Make it whatever size you can. Oops, a little bit too big there. And make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Remember I said if you have a text box, you can just focus on the text and it won't affect your shape. That's exactly why I do it right there. All right. The next thing I'd like to put in is some um, callouts. Callouts will be coming out of the image of me talking. You have a lot of different choices. I like to use them all. And I'll usually set up five, six different callouts. Make sure the callouts are coming out of your center image. Let's get another one here. Make some variety. And to make sure it's coming out of the center of the image, grab that golden diamond and drag it towards the center. Let's put in a few more. I like this one. This one shows that I'm thinking or if I use my mascot, it um, shows that my mascot's thinking something. I could go to the top here of the shape, change the angle, and let's put in one more. Insert, shape, go down to callouts, and then find a callout. So here's a variety of different ones. And again, make sure it's calling out from that center image. All right, I think you have the idea. I usually like to make everything white to give me an idea of a clean slate. Again, put a text box inside. And now you can write your message. This one, I would like them to be able to go find another product in my store. 
This will be a kindergarten activity. So I have my text. And now I'm going to go up to my links image up here on my on my tools. I'm going to click on the insert link and I'm going to write in my text. And this text will be right over the link. More great activities. There we go. Oops. I'll fix that in a minute. Click here. There we go. I'm going to highlight the link. And now I'm going to open up a new tab. When I open up the new tab, I can go straight to my TPT store. Here's a list of all my products. If you wanted to just show them the all, you know, the list of all the different items you have. You could send them just to your product list. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them to a specific spot. So I want to send them to a specific kindergarten activity. Here's one. Make a word. This is the beginning of kindergarten, week four to seven. I'd like them to look at that. So I'm going to go up to my browser bar highlight the address. You can highlight by either right clicking or you can just do control C. Once I've copied it, I'm going to paste it into my link box and click apply. And there's my link. You could change the font style, make it unique, make it your own. And if it doesn't fit, just rechange the size of the callout. All right, let's do that one more time. Oh, there's my, there's my link. I want to make sure it works. Okay, let's do this one more time. And again, I put the text box inside of the callout. Make it white. There we go. And this time, instead of a specific activity, I want them to go just to my store. Maybe just to take a look at my whole store. So please visit my store. Go up to the insert link. Put in a text. Click here for my store click on the link box, go back up to that tab that takes me to my TPT page, click on store. There's my store there. Up to the browser, copy the address. Remember control copy is either I'm sorry, either control copy or right click copy. Once I have it, paste it back into the link and apply. And there's my link to my store. All right, I think you have the idea. Now I can start adding in some color, put in some background. Keep in mind your, your store colors, using those to associate colors with your store. I love this lime green with some purple, but I can't make it too dark. There we go. Now the secret to making these links active is go to File, and you're going to download as a PDF. So download PDF. When you download as a PDF, comes up in your corner, or it comes down in your corner. It's all set. I'm going to click it. 
here is my thank you page with my active links. So okay. If you have any questions or any comments, please be sure to visit my store. I would love to um, hear how you use the thank you page. You can take this actual thank you page and just use that um, in any way that you want. All right. Thank you for watching. Please send me some feedback. Take care.